Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family. I'm here in the Tesla Family garage and we've got this open parking space behind us. We sold my wife's gas car and here's proof that she's letting me order a new Tesla Model Y. What if we got like, I don't know, a Model Y? I've always loved the Ys. I had my own reservation for a Y, so. I'd yeah. Be, I'd be on board with that. In this video, I'll share with you my top 10 reasons why I'm ordering a brand new Tesla Model Y and replacing my wife's gas car with another Tesla. You can follow along while I actually place the order for the new Tesla Model Y and I'll share with you how you can save up to $1,000 off a new Tesla. Finally, I'll run through the nine pre-delivery tasks we had to complete in the Tesla app. All right, let's head upstairs to the Tesla family office and place the order. Alright, here are my top 10 reasons why we went with a brand new Model Y. Number one, Tesla Model Y has a 5 star NH TSA safety rating for overall vehicle score, frontal crash, side crash, and rollover. Number two, Model Y is made in America. Born in Austin, Texas, Model Y tops the list of most American made cars with 70% US Canadian parts and 20% Mexican parts. Number three, home charging integration with my solar panels. I absolutely love the charge on solar feature. My cars are largely charged by my solar panels. Home charging is like having a gas station in your garage and works just like charging your phone. Plug it in at night and it's ready with a full charge for the next day. Number four, Tesla has the best fast charging network. With 50,000 plus superchargers, Tesla owns and operates the largest global fast charging network in the world. On road trips, we can add 160 miles of charge in 15 minutes, and I'm sure that will go up higher. We've driven to Florida and Quebec in a Tesla with no range anxiety and no waiting to charge thanks to the Tesla supercharging network. Number five, full self-driving capability. Tesla has the most advanced autopilot system available with eight cameras and a neural network allowing the cars to drive almost anywhere with minimal driver intervention. And now with ASS, actually Smart Summon, my Tesla Model Y will be able to navigate a parking lot and pick me up in front of a destination. And soon, it should be able to go park itself after getting out of the car. We already have Auto Park, which has been pretty cool as well. Number six, range. The long range rear wheel drive Model Y can get up to 337 miles on a full charge. Number seven, an awesome infotainment system with an ultra responsive 15 inch touchscreen with an insanely fast AMD Ryzen processor that displays driving information, settings, apps, and entertainment like video games, YouTube, and Netflix while parked, of course. Number eight, performance. With a dual motor powertrain, we get that instant torque and maximum dopamine. Dual motor Model Y goes 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds. And with acceleration boost, I can knock another half a second off of that. Number nine, electric equivalent fuel economy. Tesla Model Y gets the equivalent of 117 miles per gallon. Electricity costs a third of what gasoline costs. And you can drive 15,000 miles for less than $650. Number 10, cost. Long range EVs now cost less than the average US new car. You can get a new Tesla for as little as $34,990 with the $7,500 federal EV tax credit. Tesla Model Y has a lower total cost of ownership per mile than similar premium midsize SUVs in its class and cost about the same to own per mile as mass market vehicles. And a bonus, of course, the financing deal. Tesla offered me 1.99% financing back in August and from late October through December 31st, 2024, with 20% down, you can get 0% APR in the U.S. for Model 3 or Model Y. All right, guys, let's go ahead and order a new Model Y. This is super exciting. Of course, the new Highland Model 3 here on the Tesla website is awesome looking. I'd love to wait for the remodel Model Y, probably coming out within the next year, but got to jump on these incentives while we can. We're going to be able to get our Model Y with 1.99% financing and transfer my full self-driving. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Do you want to save $1,000 off on a brand new Tesla? The first stop you have to make is here to my referral link. Tesla.com forward slash referral forward slash Sean 68886. Going to that link will bring you here to my referral page. And on this referral page, you click ordering a new Model Y, a new Model 3, a new Model X, or a new Model S, and you'll get $1,000 off. So even for me, I can get a loyalty discount of $1,000. But I'm going to do that by clicking order now on my Model Y here. And immediately you'll notice it says Sean's referral applied. Now there's only 10 people that can use this referral link, so make sure you act fast. By using my referral link, it says right here you get $1,000 off your vehicle price. And to make sure the referral is applied, look right up here under Model Y, it says referral applied. Now on to selecting your options. And there's the three options, the long range real wheel drive, the long range all wheel drive, the performance all wheel drive. I'm gonna go with the long range all wheel drive because you do get that premium audio with it. My current Model 3 has the full complement of the premium audio with 13 speakers, the one subwoofer, and the two amps. Just sounds amazing. So gonna go ahead and also get that for Model Y. We're gonna include the estimated incentives. I'm gonna edit the savings here to only include the federal tax credit. Uh, this is gonna be a finance. I think we're gonna go ahead and do down payment of around 20,000 with the trade-in of my, my of my wife's car. And I don't really wanna do anything more than five years. Of course, we'll include the federal tax credit of $7,500. Even if we include the taxes and fees into the cost, it's $455 a month. So that's going to be, it's calling, they're calling it $390 a month. And of course, we've got the six color options, stealth gray, pearl white multi-coat for an extra thousand, deep blue metallic, which was my wife and daughter's favorite, for an extra thousand, solid black, can't go wrong with solid black, that's what my Model 3 is, but that's $1,500 an hour. Ultra red, which I really like, but I don't know if I want a red car. And then, of course, the new Quicksilver for 2000. I think we're going to go with the Quicksilver. Really, really cool color. A little more on Quicksilver from Tesla. We can see here on the Tesla website, they say that Quicksilver is a dynamic liquid metal effect color that accentuates the shape of Model Y. I think it looks pretty good, too, so that's why I ordered it. Yeah, looks kind of like Cybertruck, but a painted version, right? And we have to go with the 19-inch dark Gemini wheel covers. That'll give us the estimated EPA range of 308 miles. We do want to add the tow hitch to the Model Y and the all-black interior. Black and white's all right, but I think I'd just really like to have that black interior. And we have no need for seven seats, so we're going to go with the five-seat interior. We're not going to add full self-driving supervised because I already have it on Model 3 and I'm going to transfer that over. As far as charging, we already have a home charger and I don't believe we need to have the mobile charger. We'll probably just move the one from Model 3 over to Model Y for road trips. But we hardly ever use it, so we're not going to add that right now. And I don't think I need to add any of these accessories at all. Yeah, we don't need the sunshade. We don't need the all-weather mats. So my acceleration on the long-range all-wheel drive will be 4.8 seconds, which is faster than the long-range rear-wheel drive at 6.5. Not quite as fast as performance all-wheel drive, but I just don't need performance. I'm not racing around here. Long-range all-wheel drive range estimated 287 to 308 which is right about where my Model 3 is right now. I'm about 287 with that, so that's fine. And again, I don't want to sacrifice that premium sound um, for the extended range. Top speed, 135 for the long range all-wheel drive, and we're gonna have the, two, the dual motor all-wheel drive. 
basic autopilot, yeah, we're going to upgrade that to full self-driving supervised. Easy charging. Love the supercharging network. Over-the-year updates have been amazing since I've owned my Model 3. Love sentry mode. It's the best way to keep an eye on your car when you're not there. All the storage here with the all the seats folding down. And of course the Tesla mobile app. Interior details, that expansive glass roof, which is amazing. Center display, 15 inch center display. The wireless chargers. The all vegan interior. We're not going seven seats. Advanced climate control now. We're going from our resistive heater uh, on the old Model 3 to the new heat pump. So here's the Bluetooth music and media, the premium audio, the USB-A in the glove box, adjustable seats, heated front and rear seats. The heated steering wheel will be nice when it's cool here in the winter time. I don't have that Model 3 right now. We don't have a HEPA air filter yet. Um, and then the fog lights for LED. We've got the center console with four USB-C charging ports. For connectivity, I'm going to upgrade to the premium. Looks like it's going to cost probably, I think it's like $10 a month. I have it unlimited, the lifetime on Model 3 because of when I bought that, but I think it's worth uh, having all the features here of the premium, including the video streaming uh, for music and um, internet browser and for YouTube watching. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do order now. All right, here we go. Place order. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, don't touch it. It's waiting. It's waiting. <sighs> Bottle Y order is confirmed. Is Ooh, we're going to get one. Yeah. All right, next we're going to move on to the nine-step delivery tasks process, and this happens after you place your order for your new Tesla. Not too long after I placed the order, I received a message from Tesla here saying, Welcome to the Tesla family. It's time to start your pre-delivery tasks for your Model Y. So let's step through the nine different pre-delivery tasks. I'll show you what those look like. On your Tesla app, you'll see a screen like this. Complete your tasks to avoid delays in delivery. You click Start. The first delivery task is registration. You need to provide your driver's license and some other information, including your address, to add the registration details. I completed that pretty quickly, and after that, it wasn't too long before I received my VIN. Another message popped in my test lap saying my VIN was assigned. That's super cool. Complete your remaining tasks now, and they'll message me again when it's time to schedule my delivery. Task number two is to apply for incentives. Basically what that means is I needed to transfer over the federal EV incentive or the federal tax credit to Tesla so that that could be added to my purchase at the time of sale. So pretty easy. You just go ahead here and view the transfer information and accept the transfer over. Number three is, do you have a trade-in? We have my wife's 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek, so I clicked yes. We added that to the Tesla app, and it took a few days for a trade offer to come in from Tesla, but this is what the screen looked like. After adding my wife's car to the trade-in, there's also a question in here on whether or not you want to accept the FSD capability transfer from your old car. I'm going to have to take advantage of the final offer. Sorry? One more quarter. Okay, one more quarter. Uh, of, for Tesla to allow us to transfer our full self-driving from our current Model 3 to the new Model Y. It sounds like this is the last opportunity to do it. Actually, Tesla brought back another full self-driving transfer window starting on October 10th, and this one runs well into quarter four, December 31st, 2024. You can transfer FSD supervised from your current vehicle to a new Tesla. That then popped into the app. Tesla sent us over a pretty low offer here, only $6,900 for my wife's car. Now we already have a video on my YouTube channel talking about the highest offer we received 
and two other places that we solicited offers for for my wife's car click the link above if you want to see that video now we received an offer of eleven thousand eight hundred dollars from Carvana which is significantly more so of course we accepted that and we rejected the trade-in offer from Tesla saying the offer was too low so then the delivery task is updated showing that I do not have a trade-in but we still want to keep the FSD capability transfer from my Model 3. Step number four is financing. They're asking if you are planning to lease or finance your vehicle. Uh, of course we are going to be getting a loan from Tesla with that awesome 1.99% interest rate. So we hit yes. We apply for the loan and it was confirmed. Next, what showed up in the app is that the credit decision was pending and not too long after that, my offer has been approved and I had to review and accept the financing terms. Step number five is to schedule your delivery appointment. I had a note in here that they'll notify me when it's time to schedule my delivery appointment. Up until then, this is what my Tesla app showed that estimated delivery was going to be between August 23rd and September 1st. So as early as four days from when I originally ordered, we received a message from Tesla that it was time to schedule delivery. So we went in and clicked start and a delivery location close to your home. For me here, it's the Rockville delivery location, not too far from the house. When you schedule delivery, it gives you information on the configuration of your Tesla. It looks a lot like this. If you want to see my most expensive Tesla service yet, you can click on this video linked above. So we ended up going with August 29th at 10 a.m. and my delivery appointment was scheduled in the app. Number six is you want to add your insurance and you'll be able to provide proof of insurance once your VIN is assigned. Of course, the VIN was assigned. We ended up going again with Tesla insurance. We have that for the Model 3, so we added the Model Y to that. If you want to learn more about Tesla insurance, click the link above for my Tesla insurance deep dive video. You can see here we got an email from Tesla Insurance that my policy was updated and goes into effect on delivery day. Step seven is where Tesla wants you to make your final payment, but you don't do that until delivery day. You can view details on your final payment, though. We're going to be making a pretty significant down payment, as discussed earlier in the video, in order to get a low monthly payment. So you can see here the total car price was $52,380, and the balance after the significant down payment, just under $25,000. You can view the further details here. So the base price of the car, then the paint, then the long range all wheel drive, adding the tow hitch and then some destination fees, order fees. Here's that referral credit, $1,000 off the cost of the Model Y. Some non-Tesla fees and then the total vehicle cost. You can see I'm financing just under $23,000 for a monthly payment of $399.64. Now, when you make that final payment, you can use something on the Tesla app called Plaid, where you can connect your bank account to Tesla. I'm a little bit uh, unsure about that and giving away my information, like bank account numbers and such. So I am going to go old school and just bring in a certified check from the bank. Step number eight is to review the agreement. So this is something you will do on delivery day, so we're going to skip that for now. And of course, the final step, step number nine, is on delivery day. You'll uh, go through and complete the delivery day inspection of your vehicle, and then you will accept delivery. That's all we have for the video right now. Hopefully you enjoyed all of this awesome information. Our next video will be on the delivery of our new Model Y, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified for when that posts to my YouTube channel. Otherwise, hit that like button if you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those comments below. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you really liked it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to Tesla Family Channel here for free on YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you soon. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and anyone who watches our videos. Thank you very much. Check out more of our videos linked to the end screen of this video and on our videos, shorts, and playlist tabs. If you're on social media, like us on X and follow us on Facebook. Use my referral link to buy a new Tesla and get up to $1,000 off the purchase price.